When I was young, I do remember my father, uh, Lucien Freud, watching me and paying particular attention if I was drawing. Because he was quite quiet around us, I think I picked up that that was the way to get his attention. I think that made me feel powerful. <laughs> so the act of drawing meant I had the power over him to connect with him. My father asked me to bring some of the work that I'd made in Rome to show him and um, he would be very complimentary about certain, like he would pick on something and tell me about this and wow, look at the way you've done that hand. And I could see he was genuinely um, interested. I'm absolutely um, just chuffed and thrilled that God likes a mere mortal's work, you know. <laughs> With a, a background like mine, I've sat on so much for so long that I'm exploding to say so much, and it comes out through art. So I've always got something to say, but I like to interrogate the work psychologically <laughs> and see, oh, you know, I wonder what that's about. And often, sometimes, much later, I realise that something that seemed very ephemeral and periphery is actually a very important part that you couldn't say with words through visual. It was good that I, I made my own way in art as Jane McAdam. I was extremely helpful for my confidence mainly because I know I've made the work I've made under my name and it's been received under my name, Jane McAdam, which I think helped psychologically enormously and uh, it's been very freeing having done that.